Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Cutter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez. Get this. Canelo Alvarez to fight the WBC cruiserweight champion, Yunga Makabu, in bid to become a five-division title holder. Wow. <clears throat> Canelo Alvarez will attempt to become a five-division title holder after a fight with WBC cruiserweight champion Yunga Makabu was confirmed by the WBC yesterday. At the WBC 59th convention in Mexico City, the WBC Board of Governors unanimously approved the request of Alvarez's coach and manager, Eddie Reynoso, to allow the Mexican to contest the cruiserweight title in May or June of 2021. That may be 22, okay, not 21. Uh, the WBC has approved unanimously Canelo to fight the WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, said Mauricio Suleiman. He said, this is a surprise to me, but I'm sure he will continue to make history. Early this month, Alvarez became the first ever undisputed super middleweight champion, win with an 11th round knockout over Caleb Plant. Now holding all four super middleweight world title belts, the WBA, the WBC, the IBF, and the WBO, victory over <clears throat> American plant, it lost in Las Vegas, crowned another historic year for Canelo, having already defeated two previously undefeated title holders in British pair Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. <clears throat> Widely regarded as the sport's best pound-for-pound -pound fighter on the back of this feature, 31-year-old Alvarez has already won multiple world championships across three other weight classes, super middleweight, middleweight, and light heavy, and has lost just once across 60 professional fights. With 57 wins, two draws, that stole that sole defeat came from Floyd Mayweather, of course. Standing in the way of Alvarez's pursuit of a fifth weight class is Makabu, who has held the WBC Cruiserweight title since defeating Poland's Michael sees lack for the vacant belt in 2020 of January. <clears throat> the Congolese fighter extended his professional record to 28 and two in most recent victories over Nigerians, Alarin Waju, um, Duro Dula in December last year. Makabu's first defeat came in the maiden, in the maiden professional bout in 2008, with his only defeat coming at the hands of British boxer Tony Bellew in 2016. Fighting in Bellew's home city in Everton Football Club, Makabu was knocked out in the third round, but the Congolese has since bounced back with a nine consecutive victories. Hmm. So, um, this tells us that Canelo Alvarez is going to cruiserweight. And how do I feel about that? Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's a terrible move, um, but it's not a great one. And let me counter punch for one being, becoming a cruiserweight champion is I think premature. Why? Because when you become undisputed at a weight class, you at least want to defend the belt being the overall Supreme King to me. I think that would make sense that you would indeed defend all those belts that you worked so hard to get, defend it a couple times, and then move to the next level, okay? The only problem is the next level is not cruiserweight. The next level is light heavy, okay? Now, if it's just for him going to a weight class just to have just to become a five-time champion okay a five division champion rather okay i get it but that's not the strongest link in the chain okay and one thing we can't overlook with canelo is he chose kovalev sergey kovalev twice knocked out kovalev to fight at light heavyweight. So you pick the weakest chain and the weakest person to fight at that particular weight class. Now, you could argue, though, other fighters, did they do the same thing? And the answer is yes. Floyd, I mean, Roy did a similar fashion. 
he went to the heavyweight division and took on the WBO champ, John the Quiet Man Ruiz. He was the weakest link at that time of heavyweights. But none, nonetheless, it was a heavyweight. Like, nonetheless, that um, Makabu is a cruiserweight, okay? Um, but I think that him going to cruiserweight only just to get another belt, and then we don't know if that's the really toughest guy there because you have two other champions. One is a French fighter, which he is undefeated, which... You know, you would think that would be the way to go. And then the other fighter um, is um, <clears throat> is Marius Bratis, which is he only has also one loss. He's two years older than Makabu, which he's 36. Makabu's 34. Um, and his only loss was is coming to the hands of o uh, Alexander Usyk when Usyk was that guy, you know, um, it's a lot of ways you can look at this, though. Um, it's not the fact that he's going to cruiserweight. It's the fact that you're not completing light heavy. Because I can recall on an episode of Hot Boxing with Mike when Canelo was there, he was saying light heavy was too much for him. So if light heavy is too much for him or is just, that's your limit, that's your you know, cap, well, why are you going to cruiserweight? And the, it, it, it's, it's crazy because it's like I know Canelo... They have to cut weight. All boxers have to cut weight to make weight. But I don't see how he could just go to a weight class, fight the weakest person, and then leave. See, he did that for a short stint. He went to 168. He fought Rocky Fielding. Then he went to 175. Then he fought Sergey Kovalev. Then he went back to 168 and then cleaned out the division, which was nice. Okay. You would think if maybe... OK, there's still hope for that. Maybe he'll go to cruiserweight, fight Makabu, beat Akabu, because Makabu was knocked out by Tony Bellew, as we know, in the third round. Then go back to 168 and then take on Bivol and then take on um, Better Beef. OK, that would be the fight to really have. Those are the fights that people would like to see him uh, fight because those are the toughest fighters in that division. See, is it about just getting belts or is it about fighting the best in that weight class that you decide to go to? Now, again, the cruiserweight division, to me, I don't really know. It's kind of untapped because you don't have a lot of those guys there. Um, the last time you had a Super 6 series, which got everybody together, Alexander Usyk won. Okay, so other than that, we don't really know. Marius Bredas did give him a good fight, Alexander Usyk, that is. But we don't really know who is who there anymore. You know, like, you know, you had Dorticos and Marius Bredas and, you know, those guys like that. And, of course, you had Usyk, which he won the whole freaking thing. You know, Marco Hook, those guys like that. But you don't really know a lot about the cruiserweight division right now. So it's kind of like an island that's it's damn near has been uh, abandoned. You know, whereas the light heavyweight division, I think, would have should have been the next step. OK, now it could still be again because the, it's the formation. If he's going by his own formation that he'd done before, if he's repeating himself, he would go to cruiserweight to 190 or whatever, fight Makabu, get that uh, that division just to mark, mark it off the list. Because I know what Canelo's doing. He's marking that shit off the list. So then he could go back to 175 and fight those guys there. You know what I mean? Because I doubt he's going to go to heavyweight or, you know, now they have a bridger weight, which is stupid, you know. But, you know, um, I think that he should go to uh, light heavy, take on guys like Better Beef. And I think the reason he he's not taking on Better Beef, because Better Beef is a guy that <clears throat> he's 35, 36, right? Um, Arthur Better Beef, he's, he's, he's not a he's not a, a spring chicken. Uh, let me check real quick. Let's see, he is, he's 36. So, and then his birthday is in January. So the man will be 37. So that's his only thing, his age. You know, he has a perfect record and he's probably one of the most dangerous for Canelo because the inside fighter, he's massive. He's like a 
freaking Wolverine or a saber tooth or something, right? Because he's, you know, he's very strong, very durable. He can take shots and stuff like that. He can be hurt too, but <clears throat> the fight he had with Vosnik was a very good fight, very action-packed fight, and Vosnik, you know, is no sucker. So, you know, he's taking on Marcus Brown. Well, um, I think what Canelo would do, fight Makabu, then come back and fight a 37 or 38-year-old uh, Arthur Betterbeef for, you know, depends on what he does with Marcus Brown, and then he can become that guy at light heavyweight because, I mean, you don't want to pull a Roy. You don't want to go back to 168. You don't want to go back to 160. And I don't think that he would do that. I just think that he's bouncing all around the place, <clears throat> getting these divisions just to mark it off the list. But then the time is everything in fighting. See, Canelo's so young, and he's just a good overall fighter that's been in there with everyone. He's been fighting since he was 15, so he's been fighting over 15 years. But I feel that he should have went to light heavy first, then took on um, the cruiserweight division. You know, do everything you do in order. But, you know, I mean, but of course he hasn't been in order for the longest. Okay, because he went to 155, then to 160, then to 168, then to 175, then to 168. Now he's going to 190. So, you know, I don't, it's not a really a, a diss. I just don't think it was the best, but I do understand why he's doing it. <clears throat> but then again, <clears throat> you also have... um Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol is a guy that's kind of like a bigger, stronger Golovkin, you know? So, you know, it's a lot of fights that he can have, and a lot of people will criticize him on why he decided to go to cruiserweight that really nobody knew about. And to really wrap up this video, <clears throat> the only way this would be a good move, people, is if Alexander Usyk was still there. If he was like, if he challenged him being 168, the undisputed 168 pound champion, the cash cow, the creme de la creme at the time, then he decides to take on Alexander Usyk, right? At 190, no bullshit catch weight because you know, they'll pull that shit. Okay. That's what Marquez was talking about. If he decided to go there <clears throat> and to take on Alexander Usyk being the undisputed cruiserweight champion, then that would make sense. Unfortunately, that's not the case because Alexander Usyk has moved to heavyweight and he is now the unified heavyweight champion. But that would be the only thing that would make that spectacular. And that's not the case. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Canelo Alvarez moving up to cruiserweight to take on the WBC cruiserweight champion, Mr. Makabu. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.